Hello everyone, this is my flight review of Virgin Atlantic Upper Class from London to Los Angeles. Since this is a flight review instead of a flight report, I will be sharing my impressions and opinions. I will be rating five categories, the aircraft, flight attendance and service, seat, meals and the in-flight entertainment system on a scale of one to five stars. Here you can see the items I rate for each category. The final score is an average of the ratings of each item. At the end of this video, you will be able to see how the scores break down. Click on the link above if you would like to learn more about my flight review rating methodology. Upper class passengers have access to Virgin's amazing lounge, the Clubhouse. Click on the link above for my lounge review. It is definitely worth arriving at the airport early to enjoy the Clubhouse. As soon as you enter the upper class cabin, you are struck by the sleek and modern interior. The A350 is my favorite airplane. Compared to others, it is quieter and the cabin air has higher pressure and humidity levels. These factors contribute to a much more pleasant flight. I rate aircraft and cabin 4.8 out of 5 stars. I would have given it a perfect score if the lavatories were larger. I chose champagne as my pre-departure beverage. We were also offered water and juice. Now enjoy the sights and sounds of the takeoff. Let's take a look at the in-flight entertainment system. The screen is large and the resolution is great. There are several movie and TV show options. I like that you can browse the titles and add them to a favorites list, so you can watch them later. This is especially useful during long flights. I rate the in-flight entertainment 4.5 stars. I love the screen size and resolution, but navigating the system is a bit confusing.
launch service began one hour after takeoff. As my starter, I chose the grilled asparagus and artichoke. For the main course, I chose the breaded chicken breast. For dessert, I had the passion fruit and chocolate dome. It was delicious. The flight attendants were kind, funny and proactive. I rate flight attendant and service 4.8 stars. I include the amenity kit in that category. As you can see here, the amenity kit is rather basic. That is why I didn't give flight attendant and service 5 stars. This is the video Virgin Atlantic provides to show you the seat features. Following this video, I will show you my actual seat and we can compare. Opposite the aisle, you will find shelves and a reading light. The shelves are not very useful because objects can fall out during turbulence. USB charging and headphones jack are located underneath the shelves. Here are the controls for the seat and in-flight entertainment system. There is also an universal power outlet. The footwell is a bit narrow. This partition does not close all the way and it doesn't do much to increase privacy. The tray table is large and sturdy. The seat turns into a fully flat bed. The bed is very comfortable and I was able to sleep for a few hours. I give the seat 4.3 stars. Its biggest drawback was the lack of enclosed storage. Let's take a look at the lavatory. Hello! The 
The lavatory is not very large, but it has a window. Virgin Atlantic calls this area the loft. It is an area where business class passengers can socialize. A snack was offered prior to landing. I chose the barbecue pulled pork sandwich. I rate the meals 4 stars. Let's review my scores. Aircraft and cabin 4.8 stars. Meals 4 stars. Seat 4.3 stars. Flight attendant and service 4.8 stars. And the in-flight entertainment system 4.5 stars giving us a final score of 4.5 stars. I really enjoyed this long-haul flight on Virgin Atlantic. The highlights were the lounge at Heathrow, the A350 aircraft and the lovely flight attendants. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe. See you next time!